Nah, nobody show <laughs> Alright, let me stop. Like, YouTube, if you hit me with a copyright over that, then we gonna have to go to war. Alright, that is not a threat, though. Like, you know, I'm just playing, like... But you guys have been doing me dirty recently, though. Come on, now, what did I do to y'all? Alright, but how is everyone's days going, though? You know, we're back with another video. Hopefully, your day, week, or holiday, or just whatever you've been up to has been going well. Like, if your day's been bad, you know, let me know. Just keep it a buck in the comment section down below. Don't, don't you dare lie to me. It's okay. Either way, I do wish you all the best if I never told you guys that. And I do appreciate the support from whoever watches my video, even passes by a like. Before I dive deep into this one, I've been seeing a lot of the only in the Ohio memes recently. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them too. In like, Ohio fishing. Un video más, mi gente. Me encanta esta vaina. If you guys didn't know, yes, I do live in Ohio. Like, please, no one stalk me, all right? I'm just letting you know. At first, you know, I was like, this ain't true. What are they talking about? Like, now I'm with them. Like, because yesterday was like, what, 65? And today, it's literally negative one. I can't even walk straight because my balls is frozen to my legs. Like, that's how cold it is. Like, I'm I'm originally from Jamaica. So, like, we ain't used to that, all right? I ain't built for this. So, Ohio, this is for you. You're welcome. I'm sure you guys have seen the title. I really was trying to brainstorm and I really couldn't like think of anything. So it was either this or me doing the feed cam that you guys asked for. Like, I swear though, like I have some of the weirdest viewers on the planet. I don't know if any of you believe in karma, but let's just say it finally caught up to me. A while back, I did a story on the friend that got into it with a transgender. What do I mean by that? <laughs> You're gonna have to read in between the lines. I can't really say that on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like I did make a video on it. So if you want to check it out, you can check that out. So, I was making fun of him because, you know, like, it was funny. Like, at the time, it was actually hilarious. So, I got to laugh every now and then. And then, I think the universe took that kind of personal. They just said, I bet you're going to laugh. You next. What am I talking about? My boss is a transgender. Hey, before I get canceled, I want to say watch the whole video. Then you'll see, like, where I'm coming from. Like, no, I'm not out here trying to oppress people from the other side. Just watch the video. Relax. Calm down. Have a seat. It was just a bright, beautiful day at work. You know, I just had my lunch, and I think we had some, like, what, fried chicken that day? Now, the fried chicken was hitting like Thanksgiving. I'm just playing like that's all, Captain. The chicken had no seasoning, no salt, no black pepper, nothing else. Like, seasoning just do not exist to these people. Like, we serve food to majority Jews, whites. Don't get me wrong. There might be one black person every now and then, but he really just be a Nario. Like, his name might be Tanner or something like that. So, you already know what to expect. I left where I was at to go to the main floor, and I see my main manager talking to a woman. Now, we know for some time that, yeah, we didn't need, like, an assistant manager, so I didn't really think anything of it, though. That's because, like, before, we always had either two males or one male and one female, and we already had a female manager. So, for some reason, though, like, when you put two females together, like, at a job in a manager position, like, it just did not work. I, I don't know why. Like, in my mind, I thought, you know, like, it could have just been, like, a member or someone else just planning a party. So I'm walking around, you know, I get a little bit curious and then I decided I'm gonna go walk by and just take a quick one second glance like this is where things get a little bit odd. I see the long hair of a woman, but the shoulders of a kangaroo on steroids like I was thinking to myself like damn that lady got some broad ass shoulders though looking like a whole damn Tony Hawk skating ramp. Keep in mind like at the time I didn't even have my glasses on. So I just thought in my mind like hey, you know what? Hey, got me like maybe you just didn't see right like because you know like when you're blind and you don't have your glasses, you're blind. One of my boys went over there to take a look and the report came back and I was right. Like that was a nigga. We all find out like that's going to be the new assistant manager. Like in my mind, I was saying like, how bad can this be? Like, what is wrong with me? Like sometimes I just need to learn to shut the hell up. Like I seem to have like a 90% jinx rate. It's now the next day and boy, did we have a surprise. I go into work and I, you know, I just see the guys cracking up. I didn't really pay any, any attention because like surprisingly, like this is normal. Like at where I work, like we got a mix of everyone where I work. We go from convicts to regular people and we even have crackers there. So that's pretty much everyone, even probably more than that. Like they told me like, you know, just go out there, take a quick look. And I say like, I was like, take a look. What do you mean? Like, why are they telling me to go take a look? I get out there and Frida's wearing a skin tight outfit. Like I'm talking about no space, no room to breathe. This ain't no Marvel cosplay. Like Spider-Man got more space in his suit than Frida's. Like no, like no joke. And to make things worse, the top was see-through. Like, sir, like, can you put that shit away? Like, ain't no one trying to see your man titties. Like on top of that, like 
the stomach was hanging out like a bag of cinnamon rolls. Like, I remember it till this day. Why did you have to tell us that? Like, look, my day got ruined, so I'm going to ruin yours too. I don't care if you dislike the video. Actually, I do care. Don't do that. Don't do it. Like, at this point, I just had to turn my head and chuckle because, like, <laughs> this was just something else, man. Like, it was just too funny at the time. Like, at the same time, I couldn't laugh out loud because, like, Frida was built like a smolian. Like, I couldn't do that. Like, we got the off-brand Dwayne Wendy Johnson. Like, look at this. Like, I just found a pic, actually, that looked exactly like what I'm talking about. So, as I was saying, I was about to get my ass beat by some linebacker in a dress. Like, that's two L's in one day. Like, it ain't no coming back from that. I'm about to be on Roll Star and everything. A few days go by, and things just start to go downhill from here. Like, if it's one thing about biological males is that we are always horny. Like, sometimes that urge just be too strong. Like, it... It takes a strong mind to control it. Like, you gotta damn near be Dr. Strange sometimes, you know what I mean? To put it in simple terms that you can understand, like, Frida was trying to pop all the guys' blueberries, no cap. Like, your race, your looks, your height, it ain't matter. Like, everyone was on the list. Like, turn from assistant manager to a, I just got out of jail, Debo, real quick. First time getting in a fight, this finna be a breeze. What you wanna do, my man? I just came to make sure that ass, alright. Oh, right. no, I thought you wanted to fight. No, I wanna lay this pipe. Alright. You just so damn fast. And I need you to be mine. Go. You looking like a burnt carrot. And I ain't had no vegetables all day. I ain't coming for all that. Shut up, bitch, and take this rubber and get ready for supper. Ain't nobody doing no fucking. Well, get to sucking. We ain't. You came to... F Look, I made it known from day one. Hey, big fella, I don't swing that way. You hear me? We don't go that way. I walk in a straight line. No ups, no downs, no left, no rights. Just straight. I'm gonna have to jump up just a little bit, though, or else this video is gonna be longer than a new Avatar movie, which was three hours long. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, that was by far the best movie of the year to me, at least visually. All right, so we had an employee named Billy, which is what we're gonna call him today because like with a name like Billy you already know like he's an alcoholic so Billy used to steal beers and other things out and like the manager like actually paid him no attention sometimes like he would assist Billy you would think that with Billy being a former inmate like he would know like it ain't shit free around here like meaning while Billy was drinking and getting drunk Frida was trying to get in his drunk you know somehow Frida did end up getting his number I don't know like how it happened like I can't speak on what I don't know like he was probably drunk or something like who knows so what so it started out with like slow innocent text till one day Frida decides to send this man a picture the picture that was sent was that of a naked female porn star except the head was photoshopped to have the head of Frida like like just imagine seeing that it was like with the head of Frida which looked like the head of Shrek but like a more ugly version except is with a picture and a video of a female porn star doing her stuff like to me like that's just honestly disturbing like it was more stuff that was sent but i can't say that on youtube you already know like after seeing that picture i'm like billy sobered up and said what the f after that he did report it though to another manager not the main main manager but it was like a different manager that was cool with Frida at the time that's a tough pill to swallow though like imagine every time you close your eyes like all you remember is that probably haunts this guy all the way back to his white dreams like he just there sleeping and stuff you know with a girl or something in his dreams and next thing you know is hey i love you baby and then like and then after that the voice just switched to hey, yo you want this from the back hey what you what hey hold on do you know what happened though frida did end up cutting billy off the drink supply and everything else so like since that day like billy just ain't never been the same i'm not even gonna lie to you like i think he done got traumatized from that like i wouldn't be surprised if he quit drinking and just became a pastor now like you never know eventually after that though he did like end up quitting the job so he's no longer there after that incident a while goes by and then one of my co-workers wanted to hang out with this girl that he liked right but the only issue with that was, like, Frida always hanged out with her after work. Literally, like, every day, just going out. So if you wanted to go out with her, Frida would have to tag along. I told him, look, I said, Sean, unless you got ops trying to kill you, like, you got people from O-Block on your ass, do not go. You're going to regret it. Did he listen to me? No. And I told him, look, at least if that was the case, you could lose Frida for protection. And then I guess he just said, hey, you know what? It ain't, it ain't going to turn out that way. All right, so my boy Sean, you know, like, went home and got dressed and all that. You know, like, put on his drip. You know what I'm saying? Put on his axe. He's an old, he's an older guy, so you know they still be using axe and all that. Axe and the old spicy. You know they used to rock back in the day and all that. So, I mean, after he got dressed, they went out to, like, a restaurant. The crazy part is, like, the girl that he brought with her brought another man along. Like, you went and you did all of this to go out with her. And you're risking your life. And then he, she brought another man along? Damn, like, that's gotta hurt, though. I'm not like that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. 
and just the fact that he took the ultimate risk and like now like he might not make it back home like he might end up finding himself on season three of you all right so they take a few drinks you know the night goes by like out of all the four like frida was getting tipsy like damn they're almost drunk pretty quick Hey, and like to make it even worse, like Sean was sitting on the side that uh, Frida was on while the girl that he liked was sitting with another man. Like that's tough, man. And the crazy part is it's some other stuff that I didn't tell you about. Let's just say like when Frida is drunk, like she be getting kind of touchy. Like I ain't find this out by myself now. Whoa, relax. All right. So, you know, they're just there chilling in the restaurant and then, you know, the night goes by a little bit. So a couple walks in the bar and just as they're about to pass, tell me why Frida said, Hey, let me suck your popsicle. But now I'm using popsicle as a substitute for something else. Like, out loud, everyone could hear what Frida said. Like, literally just out loud. And the funny thing about all of that is this. Like, meanwhile, Frida is right next to Sean. And then Sean just scoots over. And Sean just scoots over. He's probably like, hey, look. I don't know who this person is, but I, I ain't involved in this sausage party, right? I'm gonna back out, you know? That's gotta be that's gotta be embarrassing though. Like imagine. And like what if like what if you're in Sean's situation, right? Even though that's your boss, and then one of your friend pops out and be like, wait, is that is that you, Sean? This who you with now? Maybe even like an ex or something. That'd be some funny shit, bro. Not even gonna lie. You would think like after that Sean would end the night, but like he still wanted to try and get the girl. Like sometimes guys like you just got to know when to abort the mission. You know, you, you got to dip. Look, y'all just be too thirsty sometimes, bro. I swear. <laughs> like, Frida was just wilding out for the rest of the night. Like, the restaurant done lost a lot of customers and shit because of this. There's just a whole commotion in there. And, like, it was time for everyone to go home. Like, um, so Sean just dropped Frida and the friend that he liked home. Just, you know, uh, the girl that he liked and Frida were staying together for the week. So, after he dropped them off, you know, he was really tired at this point, though. And, he, you know, he, they said, hey, you know what? Since you're tired, why don't you just go ahead and spend the night? Now, in his mind, what he's hearing the girls that he likes say, oh, my God, baby, come spend the night with me. But look, at the same time, he came to his senses. He's like, wait, spend the night? Wait, with you two? Like, after all the shit that Frida done did that night, you think he's really about to spend the night with him? Like, shit, if he, if he spends the night, he's, he's coming out disabled. Like, he's gonna be a senior citizen before his time. Like, so he did make the right decision. He'd say, hey, you know what? I appreciate it, and this is gonna be the end, you know? Like, have a good night and all that. So, finally, he did come to his senses. So, I don't want to make this video too long. It's a lot more that I could say. And, uh, just like it's the end of the story time, it's the end of the video. But, before you go, hey, hey, come back, come back before you go from the smacky. Hit the like, the sub, and the notification bell. Thank you for watching the video. See you guys in the next one, and...